Emma Nutt became the world's first female telephone operator on September 1, 1878, when she started working for Edwin Holmes Telephone Dispatch Company, also known as the Boston Telephone Dispatch Company, in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. In January 1878, the Boston Telephone Dispatch Company started hiring boys as telephone operators, starting with George Willard Croy. The boys, reportedly including Nutt's husband, had been very successful as telegraphy operators, but their attitude, lack of patience, behavior, pranks and cursing were unacceptable for live phone contact, so the company began hiring women operators instead. Thus, on September 1, 1878, Nutt was hired, starting a career that lasted between 33 and 37 years, ending with her retirement sometime between 1911 and 1915. A few hours after Nutt started working, her sister Stella became the world's second female telephone operator, also making the pair the first two sister telephone operators in history. Unlike her sister, Stella only remained on the job for a few years. The customer's response to her soothing, cultured voice and patience was overwhelmingly positive, so boys were soon replaced by women. In 1879 these included Bessie Snow Balance, Emma Landon, Carrie Bolt, and Minnie Schumann, the first female operators in Michigan. Nutt was hired by Alexander Graham Bell, who is credited with inventing the first practical telephone. Apparently she changed jobs from a local telegraph office. She was paid a salary of $10 per month for a 54-hour week. Reportedly, she could remember every number in the telephone directory of the New England Telephone Company. Emma, a synthesized speech attendant system created by Preferred Voice and Philips Electronics, is named in her honor. September 1st is unofficially commemorated as Emma M. Nutt Day. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider encouraging us by subscribing to our channel. In order to show your support, don't forget to like and share the video.